Okay, this is going to be video 18. Uh, it's part of the LARP edition. By request, um, this is going to be tips on creating and playing a Bonar in a Werewolf the Apocalypse LARP game. Okay. Well, as I've said before in regards to making LARP characters, you should come into it with a concept. And if you've done your research and you realize exactly what the Bonars are all about, they tend to be urban-based guru. Now, that's the main stereotype. You don't always have to follow the stereotypes. They tend to view themselves as the lowest of the low when it comes to the socio-political hierarchy of the werewolf nation. Therefore, they tend to become the dregs of humanity. They tend to hang around the bums, the homeless, they'll eat from dumpsters, um, a lot of times in their lupus forms they run with uh, dog packs rather than wolf packs. Although I do want to clarify to some people that while they sometimes mate with dogs, in order for them to be grew, they're going to be over 50% wolf. And any lupus form they have will look like a wolf. They may look like a watered down wolf, but they're still going to look like a wolf. There's another tribe that has a gift called domestic seeming, which allows them to look like domesticated animals and not wolves. Bonars don't get this advantage just because they're bonars. So you can sit there and try to claim that you look like a wiener dog. You can try to claim you look like part chihuahua. I don't care what you claim. You're still going to look overwhelmingly like a wolf. Okay, so knowing that they're the drug society, you have to play it off of that. They're not allowed to have resources at character creation, so they're going to be poor to start with. You can try to make a guy who wants to who wants to be Mr. Corporate America, who wants to be Gordon Gecko, but that's going to be a long uphill battle. I'm just going to say that outright. Now, there are some times when the city environment doesn't necessarily have to suit. I mean, example is our LARP troop actually plays in a swamp. <sighs> swamp people. That is made for the Bonars. I mean, up in the Appalachian Mountains, the, the inbred communities, you know, where like you get like the Hatfield and McCoy type mentality. Those are made for Bonars. So, you have to look at it this way. You're going to be making your character, and you're going to be coming in as the lowest of the low. You're going to be treated like a second-class citizen. Um, the haughty Silver Fangs and Shadow Lords, Fianna, maybe not so much Fianna, but the other two at the very least, are going to treat you like inconsequential scum. The Get Fenris and the Black Furies are going to look at you as weak and inconsequential. Um, the Red Talons and the Wendigo, Victana, they're going to look at you as Ura, as in city dwellers, where you pretty much fall into, you know, you fall into the weaver rather than the worm in their, in their minds. So, be prepared for that. A lot of times, because they have a gift called Tag Along, they're not required to, or they're not wanted, to really join packs on a permanent basis. So using Tag Along, they can, they can join them for a mission or so without insulting the spirit and without insulting their spirits. Also, know, know the spirits that are associated with the Bonars, mainly Rat and his brood. Rat is a totem of war. Think about how Rat attacks. Rat's not an in-your-face attacker. They tend to they tend to go for the hamstrings, the Achilles, the neck when they can you know when they can, but they don't like to be seen coming, and they really do prefer to to attack as a swarm. There's power in numbers, and the Bonars actually realize this. This is part of the reason they gather together as these communities of bums, homeless people, whatever it may be. Okay. So, you also then have to figure out some stuff about the spirits that are involved. They've got spirits like Trash Heap, Great Green Cheese, Mouse, um, Flea. If you're going to follow something other than Rat, understand those. And make sure that you tailor your character around it. And then, you get into the camps. Most tribes have what are called camps. They are political subdivisions within the camp that follow a specific, or within the tribe that follow a specific agenda. 
if you're going to be aiming towards those, understand exactly what those camps are. Because some camps aren't really playable. If you, you know, if you're going to be playing the camp that actually believes that they need to abandon Gaia and go off into the Deep Umber and seek a new Gaia, don't expect to get much playtime with it. Um, don't expect to play the loner and get a whole lot of playtime because you're part of a LARP troop, which is all about so, you know socializing and being part of a bigger group. And all you're going to do is either you're going to siphon away storytellers and narrators and probably piss off the players even further towards you and make your tribe even more hated, or you're going to get shunted to the side and ignored because the staff isn't going to be big enough to handle all these individual lone wolves, and you're not going to enjoy it to your fullest. So keep all of that in mind and be, be thick-skinned. Be prepared to be insulted, to be beaten, to be shunted to the side, to have your renowned not, stories not told, or to have other people claim credit for what you've done, or to downplay everything you do. Be prepared for that. It, you almost have to be part masochist to want to play a Bonar. But they can be one of the richest tribes around. And if you survive and you gain enough renown where you actually make rank, there are benefits there. Anybody who's played in our game and has encountered the NPC that we call Tunnel Runner, okay, he's an old Bonar that has actually made rank. And now he is the oldest, crotchetiest, foul mouth, I hate everyone in the world type guy. I mean, people have figured out how to get in with him. They, they have figured out some of his weak points and uh, where he has soft spots. But for the most part, he will basically cuss just about anybody out. And he don't care. Why? Because he's a bonar. He's been the lowest of the low. And he, he, doesn't, you know, he doesn't give a rat's ass about what anybody thinks about him. Never has, never will. And now he's just got the rank so he can actually open his mouth rather than bite his tongue. Just remember, if you come in as a client and you're going to run your mouth as a bonar, you're probably going to end up dead. Some get offenders is going to decide to put you out of your misery. So, just keep some of those things in mind, and you should be able to make a good bonar and survive, and maybe actually have a little bit of fun while you're doing it, because that's the name of the game, is have fun. So, and of course I'm talking about the bonars, and Grandfather Thunder has decided that they're not good enough to be talked about, so he's unleashing the storm upon me. So, here comes Typhon. So I'm going to wrap this up, and um, yeah, all you Bonar players, just remember, piss in the shoes of every Shadow Lord you see. It's always a fun thing to do. Okay, take it easy.